Welcome back, everyone, to another Redstone Invention. Now, this is a design that I made myself, and it can be very useful, and it's very simple, and only just two types of command blocks, which I will show in a minute. What it is, is when I pick a block, it automatically comes back. Now, what this could be useful for is if you're creating a minigame, if you want the players to be able to place blocks, but not break blocks, like, like if you want to do an invention mode where they can't break blocks, they can't place blocks either. Now, if you don't feel like going all those tricky commands with the, with the um, game mode A thing, make it so they can place blocks, you can just do this, and it is a little bit less complicated than doing all the other tricky stuff. Now, what's really useful about the design is you can choose what blocks they can break and what blocks they can't break. Even if I update this trap door, it automatically goes back. Even this cactus, the torches, and even when I break this block underneath, the torch floats. Which it is, which is kind of cool. And, but if I break this glass, you see, or the flowers, they don't come back. Or you can make it so they can come back if you wanted to. And I can also, um, open up chests, or droppers, or anything that can store items. And I can't even break the signs. Even the text comes back the way it should go. Now, this only uses two types of command blocks, as what I said before. What this is, is this is a clock that runs 20 times per second, I believe. It's it's setting a redstone block right there with its set block command at the coordinates, and the coordinates lead right there relative to the command block, and it's setting a Minecraft redstone block. And it's also destroying it when it gets activated. So once it's activating, it's just it's placing a block and it's also destroying it. So creating this clock that runs, I believe, 20 times a second. Now what this clock is doing is activating this command block, which is cloning. Which is it's called a clone command. And what this clone command does is all these numbers are a bunch of clone, a bunch of um coordinates, and the coordinates all around here. It sets a square to this building and it's cloning this building right over there so the reason why I break blocks it all might comes back is because on when, when I break say when I break um this stair right there it comes back because on the other side the stair is not broken the stair is fixed so it's notices automatically notices that the stair is out, so I'm gonna just place it to the back. Now, how I did it so I I can still break grass and flowers, and I can open up chests. Because normally, if you put a chest on the other side, you won't be able to open up because on the other side it's not open up; it'll be closed. How I did that is the clone command is on masked mode, and what masked mode does is any block that is air. You can place, you, you can update it. So right here, this, this, well, this chest is is error, which means you can update it and it won't do anything to the clone command. Same thing for the dropper and all the grass and flowers. Right now the grass and flowers are in error where, where um, this building is, which means you are able to break blocks. Now using this maximum, you can choose what blocks the player can break and what they can't break. You can... And causing a um a pretty nice you can make you can make some puzzles out of this like make sure they can only break one type of block with an map or something this design can be very useful and it is simple it only uses two command blocks and it's just as easy as that so um that's gonna wrap up this video and thank you all for watching